Hey guys, what's up? Ryan Necker here, and welcome to a uh, actual video that's not a Q&A. Wow, crazy shit, right? So in this week's video, I had an idea, and then I didn't have enough time and equipment to do the idea, so I thought I would just sit down and have a one-on-one -on -one with you. You and me, one-on-one. -on -one. More like one on however many people are watching, but I mean, right now, just with you, it's one on one. And just remember, I love you. So as I said in this video, I'm just gonna talk about some things, so let's get right on into it. Here recently, a game was released called Pokemon Go. And while a lot of the people are enjoying playing the game, there are a bunch of people that really just don't like the game for some reason. My personal opinion, I like the game. It's given me a reason to go outside and do things, instead of sit inside and play online all day. I'm actually getting out, walking around town, talking to people, doing things. It's nice, I have not been able to do something like that in years because of my anxiety. Anytime I go out for a walk with nothing to do or no one with me, I only make it a few blocks and I have to go back home because I feel like everyone that's outside is judging me for being outside. Trust me, I don't get it either, but hey, I mean, it is what it is. So with that being said, I am trying to set up a video where I do talk to some people about their experiences with Pokemon Go and how it has helped them as a family or them get outside or how it's helped them overcome some issues. I feel like if I just sit here by myself and did that, it wouldn't accomplish anything. But if I got out and asked some people who were willing to get on camera, I think that would be a little bit of a better way to get the idea across that the game's not such a bad game. And I don't get why people that play games all the time that sit around and do nothing are hating on Pokemon Go. Like, I don't get it. Maybe it's just because I have a childlike attitude and a childlike everything about me, I guess. That sounds really horrible. Maybe that's why I like the game, I don't know. Let me just say, a few nights ago, I was walking around my usual route, and I came up with this idea. Now this idea has nothing to do with Pokemon Go, but this just shows you how strange my mind is. I was thinking about sex for some reason. I mean, everyone thinks about sex, and if you say you don't, you're lying. But I was thinking about it, and for some reason the idea popped in my head, I wonder if people would be as freaky in bed as they are currently if their parents had to watch them have sex every single time they had sex. So basically, would your freaky ass still be freaky if your parents had to watch you have sex? How would you feel about that? No more peeing on your significant other. Your parents will judge you. I think it'd be a really weird concept, but I don't think that it would really change anything because if that was something that was already going on where your parents had to watch you have sex then it would have been going on for centuries and it would be the norm so it would be nothing new that your parents have to sit and watch you have sex so i don't think anyone would be any less freaky i just think some people might be afraid in this day and age where basically anything you say can offend someone i think some people would be too afraid to do certain things in front of their parents so they would not explore their sexuality and their kinks and whatever. But leave it to me to be playing Pokemon Go at five o'clock in the morning and that's what's going through my head. So if you wanna see my videos, check in every Wednesday for a new video. Currently that's all I'm doing is one video a week until I feel I can do two a week or any more. But currently it's only one a week on Wednesdays. Also, I forgot to tell you guys last time, I have a food blog now. Yes, in the time that I have not been recording, I actually learned to cook a little bit. My favorite type of food to cook? Japanese. But I do have a food blog. If you would like to check it out, I post recipes up to twice a week of some stuff that I've cooked that I used to share on Instagram, but people were asking for the recipes, so I thought, let's put out a food blog and I could put the recipes there. That way, people can, I don't know, try to cook the food I'm making if they want to cook it. Shit's pretty easy to make, I guess. So if you want to see some of the stuff that I cook, go on, go on over to my food blog. The link will be down in the description. 
uh, subscribe. You'll get updates and emails about when I put out recipes. But that's all I really got for this video. There wasn't much really to talk about. Uh, what are your thoughts on Pokemon Go? Leave them down in the comments. If you're watching this and you want to submit a video to my video project on how Pokemon Go is benefiting people, you go ahead, uh, get a hold of me, submit the video, leave down in the comments a description of if it's helped you or your family. If not, don't worry about it. But leave me your opinions on the game down in the comments anyway. But for now, I am Ryan Necro, and I will feel you later.